Look at this guy. What is he doing? A butterfly on my GoPro. A butterfly just landed on my head. <laughs> I don't know, but that's crazy. That's crazy. Look at that. Look at how beautiful the colors are. The butterfly whisper. Let's probably try to feel out of my hand because I got shrimp all over my fingers. <laughs> this is the craziest thing, yo. Fishy, the butterfly just landed on my hand. I'm gonna name you Stripes. Alright, Stripes. That's it. You can go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the EmoTV, and today we're going fishing. Uh, it's been raining for two days straight, but today we don't supposed to have any rain, so I decided to go fishing today. Today we're going to a pay lake. It's one of those lakes that you pay to go in and fish. Um, the charge is $12, which is not bad, but the main key is that you want to get there super early. That's why we are here at 6.30, and they open at 7, so we're gonna get there by the time they open, and the reason why is because the, the pay lake can get crowded, and most of the good spots get, get taken on the first one or two hours uh, after they open, so we're gonna get there on time, and we're gonna get a nice spot in the lake so we can have the best chances to catch fish. So that's the plan for today. We're gonna get it going, get there at seven, get a nice spot and catch some fish. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right guys, so we made it to the pay lake and we're actually the first ones out here, which is awesome. So we're gonna get to use this spot right here, which is the most uh, sought after spot in the whole lake, I think. If, if, if it starts getting crowded, it's probably gonna move to the other side, but this spot should be pretty good. So today I have a plan. So I got three different type of baits and I got three rods. So I got uh, night crawlers, I got chicken liver and shrimp. So we're gonna be using those three baits on three different rods and see which one actually catch more fish. So that should be interesting. Hopefully we catch a bunch of fish. I really don't care which one works better. I just wanna catch a bunch of fish, but it'd be interesting to see which one is the, the bait that's more effective on a pay lake since we know there's fish in here. Okay, so let's just start setting up and then catch a bunch of fish, guys. Come on. Alright, so we got all the rods set up. Uh, I got one with chicken liver, one with shrimp, and one with the worms, okay? So see which one catches fish first. Uh, I'll let you know guys if I catch something. I got one guy. First one today. I don't want to horse him in. There he is. There he is. Good size. Okay, let's get him on hook. There we go. Look this out. Number one. Here you go guys, catfish number one. And guess what? I didn't cut it on shrimp or chicken liver or the worms. 
So the bait leg actually has a lot of bluegill. So the bluegill was getting to my bait before I actually hook a catfish. So I cut, accidentally cut a bluegill and then I kept it and used it as bait. So I chopped it up in little pieces. So I actually dipped the bluegill into the blood from the chicken liver and that's what I put on the hook and I got the first fish. So I've been getting a lot of bites, but I think it's the bluegill just messing with my bait. And uh, now that I actually put a piece of bluegill, I cut a catfish. So there you go guys, we're gonna take a closer look. You know, this in size, this in size. All right, we're gonna let it go. So now the plan changed completely. Uh, so I'm gonna use the worms and actually catch more bluegill so I can use the bluegill as bait. So apparently, if I wanna catch fish here, I can't be using soft baits because there's too many bluegill and they will get to your bait before the actual catfish get to it. So all the bluegill will be eating now, your worms, your chicken liver, your shrimp, it be gone way before the catfish actually gets to it. So I'm gonna use the worms, catch more bluegill, chop them up, and cast them out there. Is there another one, guys? Whoa. Is he swimming towards us? Oh, come on. Yeah, he was swimming towards us. He's there, still there. He's just swimming this way. All right. That's a big one. That's a big one. Okay. All right. That's a bigger fish. That's a nice fish. Go, oh, he's wrapping around. All right. That's a fish. Now that's a catfish. That's a big catfish. Look at this thing. Jesus, look at that. Oh wow. That is that is that is probably my PV catfish right there. Oh, oh my goodness. <sighs> Got a hook out. You hear, you hear this beast? Oh, now that's a fish right there. That's a beast. Hold on, guys. All right, guys. Well, let me show you this fish. Look at this fish. That's probably the biggest fish, the biggest catfish I ever caught. Uh, I don't have a scale with me, but that's a big fish guys. So the strider worked out. It worked out. Uh, so we just cut up a bunch of bluegill and then we dip it on that blood. We dip it on the blood for the the, the chicken liver blood. So so we, have, we, we cut the bluegill and, and, and we dip that on the on the blood of the chicken liver. And this is the result right here. So the, the original plan that we had catching catfish with shrimp or the other baits didn't work out but that's what you have to adapt and this is the result right here look at this fish guys that's i mean look at my hand look up look at how big this fish is you see all right 
So we're gonna let him go. I'm gonna put it down, let him go. So this would this is the chicken liver right here, right? And it has a lot of blood in it. So all I'm doing is I'm dipping the piece of bluegill. Just like that. See? Okay. That's all I'm doing guys. Now we're gonna cast it as far as we can. Ah, missed it. Woo. That was a big fish. It, it, it completely destroyed the shrimp, look. That was a big fish, guys. We missed him, though. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the shrimp there. And I have something for you. Put a little combo. There we go. That looks pretty good. So we got shrimp. We got bluegill that's been soaking on that chicken liver blood. So if this doesn't catch a fish, I don't know what will. To be honest with you. Let's just try to make a good cast. Oh, something's happening. Something's happening. Didn't the bite just turn on? We have to recast this really quick. Alright, still good. Still good, I've still got the bait. Just gonna recast this really quick. Oh my god! Alright. Whoa, we got one! Alright. <laughs> Told you guys, the bite turned on just now. <laughs> Who's big? Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Messing with the other rod, but we got one this rod. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm gonna lose my drag. Cause I don't wanna. I don't wanna lose this fish. Okay. Come on. All right. I think I got four pound line on this leader. Don't ask me why, but I do. So we're gonna slowly bring him in. It's okay. Don't wanna lose his fish. All right, let's walk him out. No, no. All right, can't play around with this fish. Got four pound, four pound liter. There you go. That's fish number three. The hook is right there. Let's get the hook out. Let's see. 
Okay. All right. Hook is out. No damage to the fish. All right, guys, that's fish number three. Cut that on a piece of bluegill. Not as big, as, it's not as big as the other one, but it's still a nice size fish. Uh, I was messing with the other rod, uh, and uh, uh, the other rod went off, so I think the bite just turned on. This is a channel cat, it's medium size, pretty much average size. So, there you go, guys. Now let him go. Alright guys, so that's it for today. We caught three decent sized catfish. I caught a uh, PV catfish. Um, but it's time to get back home. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and I'll see you guys for the next video Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video uh, Right now I got an update for the giveaway that I did last week the giveaway is officially closed So we ended up with nine people qualifying for the giveaway and what I did is I got all the names in this ball right here So I wrote the names down and put them in here and then we're gonna be picking one random here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that Okay. And the winner is C. Limansky. C. Limansky. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. So C. Limansky, you got yourself a Whopper Plopper. Uh, uh, I'll be contacting you. Uh, so we get the details down and I will send you this as soon as possible, right? So thank you for everybody that watched the video and participated on the giveaway Thank you for being part of my channel and watching my videos. I really appreciate that guys And I'll see you guys in the next video